You're about to see something that took place. It was a miracle. Amen. Amen. Praise God once again. I want to thank Sister Ashley for being obedient to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God for letting God lead and guide her and instruct her. I want to thank this youth group. Amen. 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 Yeah. A group of kids that wanted to come together. Yeah. Amen. To see this vision fulfilled. <clears throat> Amen. And they had one thing on their mind. And that they were doing this here for the glory of God. That's right. Amen. 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 So right now. Thank, thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Josh, for hanging in there. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So right now. Thank you, Yeah. He knows your voice. Look here. And there's two cents. To be thrown in somewhere. <laughs> Josh has two sins. <laughs> for every occasion. Amen. Way more than two. That's not even. Bless the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise God. We love the Lord God. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise Amen. God. All right now, in honor of Pastor Appreciation, Zion Youth Group has a very special gift for Pastor. Bless the Lord. His wife. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, brothers and sisters, Zion Youth Group. <laughs> 16 through 20. And it came to pass that from the time forth, the half of my servants brought in the work, and the other half of them held both the spears, the shields, the bows, and the habergeons. And the rulers were behind all the house of Judah. They which built it on the wall, and they that bear burdens with those that lied it. Everyone with one of his hands brought in the work, and with the other hand held a weapon. But the builders, everyone had his sword girded right by his side, and so built it. And he that sat at the trumpet was by me. And I said unto the nobles, and to the rulers, and to the rest of the people, The work is great and large, and we are separated upon the wall, one far from another. And what place therefore ye hear the sound of the trumpet? Resort ye thither unto us. Our God shall fight for us. Zion so Ethereum presents on the wall. Praise the Lord. It's so good to be in the house of the Lord today. Amen. We're the spirit of the Lord in this very city. Amen. 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 When the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in the spirit and the truth. Yes, amen. 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 So the Father sent us us to worship him. Yes, thank you, Lord. Amen. God is the spirit. So they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yes. Amen. amen. And that's why I'm so thankful to the sons and daughters that have come to time today to worship the Father in the spirit. I'd like to testify. Zion is a place full of holy, dedicated, and faithful people. I am so glad that we're all able to be here today to worship God in this beautiful church that He has ordained for us. Each and every day, we need to let God know just how thankful we are for Him, for every one of us here, and for this beautiful church. We are so blessed. Amen. Amen. Before we begin, I feel led to do something. God told me to give this to you. What is this? Well, I know what it is, but why? It's a multi-tool. God is saying there will be a lot of work to do in Zion, and you'll be a vital part of it. Church, let us pray. Lord, we come to you tonight, and thank you for praying us together for the congregation. Bless the service, Lord. Colossians 3, 23-24. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the word of inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. That day God set in motion a plan for his people to do a great work, 
We must always be willing and ready to serve the Lord no matter what task ahead. We must be quick to work heartily with all of our heart, mind, and soul. God has ordained Zion as a place full of women and men with a Christ-like character, honesty, integrity, and an abundance of humility. Zion has been called in who work heartily as for the Lord and not in the men. The congregation has watched the Bible perform many miracles in the past. They have heard the voice of God's prophecy of things to come. The congregation would still learn to trust in God and work no matter how great the task. I'm just in shock. What do we do? Do we even have money or manpower? We will just have to trust the God. Do not be afraid and don't be discouraged. It might seem like a lot right now, but God will make a way. We're just going to have to take this one day at a time. My wife and I pray, and God has a plan. We're going to start praying for God to send the money and to make a way. And we're going to start meeting every Saturday for God to let us do the work ourselves. And just as Nehemiah did, we're not going to come off the wall until the work is finished. God is giving his people hope. The congregation is ready and willing to serve God. The congregation has been blessed with a love for the church so strong that no enemy can stop it. The congregation knows it will be a long, hard battle, but they must have faith in God and trust that He will send the resources, manpower, and funds for a job this fast. The congregation knows that the task will be great, but the reward will be much greater. 
How will God respond to his people? This is nice. And how should we at least think of people here help with us? How should people on the road church here? God is making it happen. People are taking out the keys, drinking the carpet virtual. God is amazing. Even though we may not have many people here with us right now, God has sent us people to help with the labor and skills. Dear Lord, mighty name of Jesus, God, we pray for this church, Lord. We pray that you let us help Zion, Lord, rebuild, God. We know that there is a vision here for Zion, God. We praise you and we thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, let us help this church. Just say amen and amen. Brother, I'll be back in touch with you. I just spoke with a man from West Virginia, and his church is going to donate money and help with the restoration process. That's awesome. Amazing. Praise the Lord. God is providing, and we will be back in our church. what the Lord has done. We thank him for answering our prayers. Yes. And me and my wife knew that if we would just be thankful, then he would too. We would like to thank the church body for your faithfulness and dedication. God sent help in a time of trouble. God has told us throughout this season that he is in complete control mm -hmm. and that his ways are above our ways. And just nine months, he has brought us closer together than we ever have been before. And I'd like to thank him for staying faithful to us and I thank you, church, for choosing to stay on the wall. Amen. 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 